are you waking up tired because allergies are keeping you up most of the night? I would like to share with you simple ways to reduce nighttime allergy symptoms and get your energy back. Hi all, welcome, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Tracy. I am super passionate about health, fitness, and wellness. To continue to receive helpful tips like the ones you will hear today, make sure you subscribe before the end of the video. Let's talk nighttime allergies, why they happen, and what we can do to reduce them. Sleep better and have a more energizing start to our day. Allergies can be related to pollen, animal dander, and dust mite at a minimum. There are more factors that contribute to allergies. Those are the most prominent ones during the spring through fall season. First, understand that during the day it rises and it's floating all around freely. As we come to the close of the day, it starts to come down. For bed, just like we do, I suppose, believe it or not, scientists have actually noted that when pollen begins to fall, that is the peak time for pollen. Dust. Dust is everywhere. If we have pets, we have pet dander. It's in our home. Those allergens, they attach themselves to our hair, our skin, clothes. Yep, if you went outside, pet your dog, sat on your couch or sofa, and your allergies are bothering you, now you know why. It is time to take care of that. So we can get a good night's sleep. Mmm, so good sleep. Here are my top five ways to reduce nighttime allergies. Number five, at night, keep your windows closed. Even if the weather is warm, keep your windows closed. Turn on a fan or run your AC. It's late, pollen is falling down. It's looking for a place to rest and settle itself. If your window is open, it has free reign to come in mass quantities. We want to avoid that. Number four, change and wash your bed linen often at least once a week, more if you can. Additionally, as you're changing your sheets, you want to vacuum your mattress. If your sofa is anything other than leather, vacuum your sofa as well. Cloth sofas, as comfy as they are, they do hold a lot of dust mites. It's a breeding ground for them. Another action step that we can do is to invest in hypoallergenic bed covering for your mattress as well as for your pillowcase. These protective coverings help to protect the bed from holding on and collecting a lot of dust mite. Number three, if you own animals, give them their own beds. Do not allow them to sleep in the bed with you. Even better, do not allow them to sleep in the room with you. You're sleeping, the, the animal is there in the room with you, their animal dander is there, you are breathing that in all night long. Allergies will not get better because you are continuing to compound the issue with this onslaught of just more and more and more allergens. Take a break, give the pooch, give the kitty their own separate space to be at night to sleep. Children love teddy bears. We love to give the children teddy bears. Teddy bears, as cute and adorable as they are, are not the best things for our children to sleep with. Let them play with their teddy bears during the daytime when it is bedtime. Remove teddy bears from your children's bed. Those teddy bears also hold a great amount of dust mites. Give your children the relief that they need during the nighttime for the energy and productivity that they need for the next day. Number two is to sleep with your head slightly elevated. Grab a couple of extra pillows, a couple of blankets, and create a wedge for yourself. They have wedges created specifically for this. It elevates you, giving you the ability to breathe. The number one thing we can do to help with nighttime allergies and have relief is to take a shower once we are done going out for the day. It is important to shower off all of the pollen, dust mite, and danger that we've come in contact with throughout all of our activities for the day. If it is possible, wash your hair as well. If it's not possible for you to wash your hair every day, at least take something and cover your hair before you go to bed at night. When you are sleeping and your hair is loose flowing like this and you're sleeping and tossing and turning, the dust mite, the pollen, the dander, all of those things are still embedded in your hair. You are bombarding yourself with it all throughout the night. If you take your hair and you just wrap it 
up and put a scarf or something over it and sleep you're just only coming in contact with the pillow and not your hair and you're not continuing to give yourself extra dosages of the pollen dust mite and pet dander you know i'm a person about action i need to know which one of these are you going to give a try this week to help you have less nighttime allergy related symptoms all of these are very doable and require no investment except for the one which is the protective covering for your mattress and your pillow while you are typing that in the comment section below let me tell you the bonus the bonus the bonus before you go to bed at night and winding down brew yourself a nice cup of warm lemon water the lemon water will help to break down the excess mucus and hydrate your body throughout the night you can add honey to it if you want to it's optional but it's still good when you make lemon water it is important to use fresh lemon real lemon not the stuff that comes in a bottle that says real lemons real lemon juice that does not count buy fresh whole lemons $1.99 for a bag of six to eight lemons is not a huge amount of money to invest in yourself you are worth way more than $1.99 with the lemon water you can take it and squeeze the juice of the lemon in there or you can take slices of the lemon and put it in the hot water always love to hear from you thank you for all the comments and questions that you leave me below remember if there are other allergy related topics that you would like for me to discuss type it in the comment section below until next week be empowered to take charge of your health remember health start within stay well